family altar is burning all the time. Homes where angels are delighted to visit. Homes where the name of Jesus is a household name. There, is, there are blessings that come as a result of having a spiritual home. The Bible says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. A family that lets God build their home does not lack any of these things. <coughs> to have a healthy family, Jesus must be in our home. To have a healthy family, Jesus must be on our television. To have a healthy family, Jesus must be in the magazines we read. And let me give a word to those of us who are parents and spouses. The Lord's servant says in Steps to Christ, when relying on the Lord, you've done all you can, accept the results cheerfully. When relying on the Lord, You've done all you can. Accept the results cheerfully. There is an incredible satisfaction that comes from knowing you've done your best. Doesn't mean our children will not go astray. But at least we know that we've taught them. We've instructed them well. We know that we've set a right example for them. And like Job, even when they leave home, we will continue to pray for them daily. Amen. And when that happens, we have this assurance that our prayers will not be in vain uh, because prodigal will likely come back home one day because, because they know that Jesus is in our home. Amen. I don't know whether your family is in need of major renovation or just some minor maintenance. But this one thing I do know is that there is not a family under the hearing of my voice that does not need to be rededicated to Jesus. Your family may just be getting started. Perhaps you're a young family, just starting out, new couple, recently married. There is no better time than now to commit yourselves to living to the glory of God and establishing a Christian home. Some of us are long-standing members, been married for decades, have many children, have grown up children. And for some of us, the truth is, the reality is, is that the image that we are projecting to others is not the whole story. Things may not be as well at home as we would have others to believe. Perhaps, perhaps we're projecting an image of our home being a little heaven and earth, when in reality, it's a living hell. God only knows. God only knows. But this morning, whatever condition our home is, is in, let us not seek to hide from God. Let us bring, present our families to God. I am, um, when I was in a previous, one of my previous churches, a, a sister came to me one day, and, and a senior sister. She said, Pastor, I've never told anybody this. Never told anyone, grown-up children. But she said, I wish I had never married. This sister was long-standing, highly respected in the church. Admired the whole family, admired all the children were in church. Husband and wife carried great responsibilities in the church, highly regarded, highly esteemed. And I was shocked when she told me. She said, she said, I wish I never married. The only regret I, the only thing I don't regret doing is having my children. I love my children. But I wish I'd never married. Does your family need some minor repairs? 
or some major renovation work? Or is your home, is your family suffering from structural damage and about, about, about to fall apart? Children are becoming wayward. So this morning, I want to invite, invite, invite us to bring, to present our family, to present our marriage, to present our home before God. Is there somebody this morning God knows. We know. We know the truth. And God knows the truth. Let us not hide from that. We need to commend. And I want to commend to you this morning the master of Jesus. Is there somebody who wants to just come and stand before God and say, Lord, please, please bless my home. Please come into my family. Come and fix my home. If you want to just come down front here and just present your marriage, present your, your family to God. You know, you know, and God knows. You know that perhaps things are not well at home. Come to church and we project an image that everything is well. And even if they are, we must never become satisfied. We should desire things to be better than they are. If you want to come this morning and present your family to God, somebody, just come on down, come. just stand before the altar. And say, Lord, please take my family, come into my home, come into my marriage. Mend, mend those cracks. Fill those cracks. Mend those things that have become broken. And bring, bring happiness back into my family. Bring joy and peace into my home. And by extension, my brethren, by extension, when things are well in our families, in our homes, then church becomes a wonderful thing. When there is good home religion, there is excellent eating religion. But too often, too often we have problems in church because there is a mess in our home. Father, this morning, even as I pray, if you can't come to the front, just stand where you are. And as I pray, you want to stand before God and commend your family to Him. Father, you know us. You know the state of our home. You know the state of our marriages. You know where our children are headed. You know the spiritual deficit we're experiencing in our personal lives, and more importantly, Father, perhaps in our family lives. You know, you know that perhaps for some of us, the fire has gone out on the family altar. Some of us, the flame is about to be extinguished on the family altar. You know, Lord, and we know. And yet, so often we come here on Sabbath morning and we would have others to believe all is well. All is well when there is brokenness. And Lord, some of us, some of us, <clears throat> we're experiencing a little heaven and earth. But we, we will not presume to become complacent. As good as things might be in our homes, we want them to be better. We want things to be nicer in our homes. We want, we want to, to, to love more like you love. We want, we want to develop the Christian graces more, Father, so that we can, we can go on to higher places in Jesus. Our families, our homes can become stronger and better. And then, and then that blessing will trickle down through to your church family as we take, as we transfer the blessings from our homes to the, to the church, to the, to the house of God week after week. Hear us, dear Lord. We stand, we stand, we stand before you, lifting up our homes before the great master builder. Do your work. Do your work. Set to work on us. Husbands, wives, mothers, fathers. Please, bring back, bring back the glory. 